What's up, YouTube? This is King Daddy DMAC coming at you with my 14th Wi Fi vid. This is again to do the challenge me on YouTube. Um, his name is Gently Mutilated. How wonderful. Um, anyway, he challenges me, says if I can beat him, um, he'll subscribe. So, what do I got to lose? Um, here we go. And he starts off with his lead swamper, which most likely is just going to do stealth rock and switch out. And I'm starting with my lead machamp. So I'm pretty safe here um, that just to go with the dynamic punch, he gets off his rocks. And uh, I get off my dynamic punch. And look at that. That is absolutely wonderful. I get pretty close to 50%. And I get the confusion. He's going to switch out. Smart move, buddy. He goes into his Dusk Nor, and I go for the Dynamic Punch, great predict buddy, and um, at this point, I know I'm going to be faster, so I'm going to switch out. Now, I was a little suspicious here, I'm pretty sure he had seen my vids, and uh, when you use the same team like I have, what's going to happen, you use it too long people are going to probably make teams that counter yours. Whether that he actually did or this is really his normal team, I don't know, but I'm a little suspicious. Anyway, I get off my Leech Seed. Wonderful. Um, always good whenever somebody sends in a wall to get that off because it's going to be doing a lot of damage. I go for my Seed Flare. And again, wonderful. This guy is definitely a physical wall and um, I'm able to get a lot of damage off. He goes with a smart move and uh, does the pain split, but you know what, that's okay because pain split doesn't kill nobody and um, I'm just going to keep on leeching off. So that's great. Go for the second seed flare and I know that's going to take him out as long as I hit. So wonderful. I got his ghost type out, something that I don't like for my team. Always good to get the ghost type out. Anyway, he goes into a scissor. Now, I go ahead with my HP fire. I'm feeling pretty good, but I realize normally I've set up HP rocks, or excuse me, I've set up stealth rocks by this point. Well, what happens on Shaman when you run timid and uh, you don't have your stealth rocks up? Scizor is able to live. That suck fucking blows. So his scissor is still in, and you turns out. So, he's able to get his Swampy back in, and my Shaman has failed. Which is always the best um, counter to a Swamper. It's going to be my Grass type. So, I bring in my Swampy. I get my Rocks off. He roars out. Probably not the best move for him, but uh, he's only at around 50% health. I have my Machamp. Now, he does quite a bit of damage there. Um which sucks for me. Um, so he's probably got some pretty good EVs going on in his Swamper for attack. But uh, either how, I'm able to get off another Dynamic Punch. His Swampy's almost dead. That's good. I go into my Clefable. I'm feeling pretty good here. He hurts himself. And uh, goes for the EQ. Does pretty good damage, but I got my Reflect up. I'm feeling pretty good. Now this... I cannot believe happened. Who the fuck runs a fighting move on Swampy? I didn't even know that he could run the fighting move because I've never seen it. But you know what? That's fucking awesome, dude. Um, I'm definitely going to have to look into that from now on because I never even thought of it. So he's completely outdone me there. Um, he gets down both my Reflect and takes out my Clefable. Um, I got my Swampy up. He's got him down to 50% life. And then look who comes in. My fucking favorite poke ever. What the fuck? Now here, um, I'm a little ballsy. I know that it actually is pretty normal for a uh, Kiss to run Grass Knot, but I'm hoping to God he doesn't. I stay in. I want to try and get some more damage on his pokes. At least I got my Stealth Rocks up. That's cool, but he does run the fucking Grass Knot. So, goodbye Swampy, and I'm not feeling too good about this game at this point. He's got both uh, my special wall down. I have I've basically nothing to switch into. Um, he's got my Shaman down. He's got my Swampy down. I'm pretty fucking screwed at this point. So, I'm not sure what the hell I should even bring in. Um, I end up going for my Scizor. 
Um, I want to get some type of damage in. I'm not thinking he has anything that can s hit Scissor super effectively. I'm really hoping he doesn't run like Flamethrower or some type of fire move. Goes for the Aura Sphere. It hits me pretty good, but um, at the same time, I took it fairly well. I go for the Super Power just because I want to get as much damage as I can on this Kiss at this point. And um, if I know... If I hit him again, I know it'll kill him, but he'll probably also kill me getting the defense drop. So I switch out. I go into my Hellboy. Um, I'm pretty confident that he's going to go ahead again with the uh, Aura Sphere. I predict right, and uh, I get a free switch. That's awesome. Um, I right here, I know I'm going to be able to take him out with the T-Bolt. I go ahead with that, and uh, it's looking pretty good, super effective, but fuck. It doesn't try quite kill him. He gets the T-Wave off. I'm paralyzed. This is a swamped Gengar, uh, a scarfed Gengar. I'm I'm fucked at this point. I'm not, uh, everything on his team's gonna outdo it. Thank God he gets a miss. I'm able to take him back out. Like I feel I should have in the first place. But great EV spread. I know that Togekiss does. Uh, he is a lot bulkier on the special side. So. You know, I should have known better, but what was I going to do? I didn't have many options left. So, that's fucking cool. Who comes in next? Poor Gunzi. Fuck! Another poke that I hate. Another poke that resists my only stab that I carry on my Gengar. Well, I know poor Gun generally, um, generally can't take me out in one hit, although I, he has a much better chance of taking me out in one hit than I do of him. I know I'm not going to be able to take him out in one hit because I can't hit him with my stab. He goes for the Psychic. Great. He fucking runs Psychic. Now, not that that's an unusual move, but again, it's not one of the top moves I see on a poor Gonzi. There's generally much better moves that he can run. So anyway, I know now he's got a poke that's going to be able to take out my fucking Machamp in one hit. He took out my Gengar in one hit. Um... My only hope is that this dude is scarfed or specked or something just so that he's not going to be, hopefully scarfed, so he's not going to be able to take out my scissor. But I got the priority move, do the bullet punch, and I uh, pray to God that he's not uh, specced. So I'm able to live that. That's awesome, just like I thought. I'm able to two-hit KO him with my bullet punch after Stealth Rock. That's fucking cool. I'm feeling a little bit better now. And, um, you know, uh, he only has three pokes left. I got two. So, brings in the Scizor. Knew he's going to die from Stealth Rock. That's awesome. Brings in his Zapatos. And here, um, there's not really much I can do. I know if I switch out, it's a good chance that I'm going to die from Stealth Rock coming back in anyway. So I say, fuck it. I want to sort of check out what, uh, what this guy has and fodder him out. And I bring in my I got you, bitch. Now here, um, I know that Machamp is a little bit bulkier on the physical side. This is a bulky Machamp, and I'm feeling pretty good. I know I'm going to be able to one-hit KO this guy with the Stone Edge. No, I'm going to survive that. And what? What the fuck? A crit. So right here, I was feeling pretty good, but you know what? That shit happens. It fucking sucks, and uh, we're going to have to do a rematch because I'm not going to go down like that. Good game, um, and uh, I'll see you in the rematch. And uh, I was going to do a double header here, but I uh, couldn't quite fit it in, so you're going to have to watch the next vid. Thank you. Comment, rate, subscribe, YouTube, and uh, 